What if I told you there's an American fighter jet so advanced, so lethal, that it achieved a 241 to 2 kill ratio against our own frontline fighters? A machine so stealthy it can literally fry enemy radar systems while remaining completely invisible? Today, we're diving deep into the F-22 Raptor, America's fifth generation air superiority fighter that has redefined what it means to own the skies. But here's what most people don't know about this $150 million flying fortress. And trust me, by the end of this video, you'll understand why our enemies lose sleep over this beast. And wait until you hear about the secret maneuver that makes the F-22 appear to fly backward, something that breaks every rule of physics you thought you knew. Let's start with what makes the F-22 a ghost in the sky. This isn't just about looking cool, this is about life and death in aerial combat. The Raptor employs specialized radar-absorbing materials that literally convert electromagnetic energy into heat through something called the Joule Effect. Think of it like a sponge, but instead of absorbing water, it's soaking up radar waves and turning them into harmless heat. Those angular surfaces you see? They're not just for show. Every angle is precisely calculated to deflect radar waves away from their source. But here's where it gets really interesting. You know what the biggest challenge was for stealth designers? The cockpit. Why? Because the pilot sitting inside is essentially a giant radar reflector. How do you hide a human being from radar? The engineers solved this with pure genius. They applied a metallic coating to the entire canopy, a coating so advanced that radar waves bounce right off the surface instead of penetrating through to illuminate the pilot. It's like having a one-way mirror, but for radar waves. Now here's something that'll blow your mind. About one third of all F-22 maintenance is dedicated to maintaining its stealth capabilities. We're talking about specialized hangar bays with precise environmental controls because even the slightest imperfection in the coating can compromise the entire stealth system. But there's a revolutionary robotic system that's changing everything about how we maintain these stealth fighters. And it's straight out of science fiction. At the heart of every F-22 beats the F-119PW100, the world's first fifth-generation fighter engine. We're talking about over 35,000 pounds of thrust, pure engine. That's enough power to launch this beast, which weighs 43,340 pounds empty, but can reach a maximum takeoff weight of 83,500 pounds, fully loaded, to altitudes above 65,000 feet. But raw power is just the beginning. This engine can do something that sounds impossible. It enables the F-22 to supercruise. What supercruise? It's the ability to maintain supersonic speeds without using afterburners. While other fighters are guzzling fuel in afterburner just to keep up, the Raptor is cruising at Mach 1.5 plus, sipping fuel like a economy car. Here's where things get absolutely insane. Those rectangular exhaust nozzles aren't just for show, they can pivot 20 degrees up or down, literally vectoring the thrust to maneuver the aircraft. Think about this. With an empty weight of 43,340 pounds and those twin F-119 engines producing over 70,000 pounds of combined thrust, the F-22 has a thrust-to-weight ratio that exceeds 1.6 when lightly loaded. You know what that means? This fighter can accelerate while flying straight up. Try wrapping your head around that physics-defying capability. Remember that backward flying maneuver I mentioned? Here's how it works. The thrust vectoring system can give the pilot complete nose authority even when the wings are stalled. The F-22 can execute what's called a super tight J turn, where it literally appears to fly backward for a moment. It's like watching a controlled flat spin that shouldn't be possible. Let's talk about what happens when the F-22 goes to war. During Northern Edge exercises, our most realistic combat training, F-22-led forces achieved a 241 to 2 kill ratio against frontline F-15, F-16, and Navy F-A-18 Super Hornets. And those two losses? They weren't even F-22s, they were F-15Cs. In the largest single engagement, F-22-led forces faced 103 adversary fighters and walked away with 83 confirmed kills to just one loss. These aren't video game statistics. 
This is real combat training against America's best pilots flying America's best fighters. But training is one thing, real combat is another. When F-22s deployed to Syria, they completed their first combat surge and deterred 587 Syrian, Iranian, and Russian combat aircraft. That's not a typo. 587 enemy aircraft backed down rather than face the Raptor. Here's what's truly terrifying for our enemies. Even after expending all eight air-to-air -air missiles, F-22s didn't have to leave the fight. Instead, they became forward air controllers, using their incredible sensors to fill gaps where even our AWACS couldn't see. But there's a critical weakness in the F-22's communication system that nearly compromised a major operation. And the ingenious solution involves a 70-year-old spy plane. The F-22's ANA-PG-77 radar is absolutely revolutionary. We're talking about 1,956 individual transmit-receive modules working in perfect harmony. This system can detect aircraft from over 320 miles away and perform beam steering in tens of nanoseconds. But here's the kicker. This radar is so stealthy and so powerful, it can literally fry the electronics of enemy sensors. Imagine having a weapon that doesn't just detect enemies, it can destroy their ability to see you. The real magic happens in something called the Common Integrated Processors. All the sensor data radar, infrared, electronic warfare systems gets fused into a single coherent picture for the pilot. It's like having superhuman awareness of everything happening within hundreds of miles. The system automatically tracks targets and updates their positions without any pilot intervention. As enemies get closer, the tracking gets more and more precise, creating layered spheres of engagement around the F-22. Here's a design challenge that seems impossible. How do you carry weapons on a stealth fighter without compromising its invisibility? The F-22 was literally designed around its internal weapons bays. For air-to-air -air missions, it carries six AIM-120 AMRAAM radar-guided missiles in the main bays and two AIM-9 Sidewinder infrared missiles in the side bays. For ground attack, it can carry two 1,000-pound precision bombs plus four air-to-air -air missiles. But launching weapons from internal bays created an engineering nightmare. The F-22 has to be able to launch weapons throughout its entire flight envelope even while pulling 100 degree per second roll rates. The solution? The AMRAAM vertical eject launcher literally shoots missiles out of the bay at more than 25 feet per second with a force of 40 Gs. It's like having an internal cannon that fires missiles instead of bullets. Remember those maintenance robots I mentioned? They're called the Robotic Aircraft Coating Application System and they can restore stealth coatings with precision no human hand could match. These robots work 24-7, ensuring every F-22 maintains its invisible advantage. You can't just hand someone the keys to a $150 million fighter and say, good luck. F-22 pilot training is a grueling nine-month process that breaks down into phases that would challenge even the most experienced aviators. It starts with 380 hours of academic instruction and 45 simulator missions. These aren't simple flight sims. They replicate actual combat situations from basic takeoffs to complex multi-thread engagements. But here's what separates F-22 pilots from everyone else. Dissimilar Air Combat Training, or DACT. This is where F-22 pilots go up against different aircraft types to understand the performance traits, advantages, and limitations of every fighter they might face in combat. Recently, F-22s conducted DACT with Singapore's F-15SGs and F-16s over the South China Sea. Why is this important? Because in real combat, you need to know how your aircraft performs against every possible adversary. Flying at 65,000 feet at Mach 2 Plus puts incredible stress on the human body. The F-22's life support system is a marvel of engineering that integrates everything a pilot needs to survive in one ensemble. We're talking about onboard oxygen generation, anti-G systems, and chemical biological protection all in one integrated system. This system allows pilots to withstand higher G forces for longer periods while protecting against the dangers of extreme altitude and speed. Here's how tough this system is. 
Escape system tests proved it can protect pilots when exposed to wind speeds of up to 600 knots, compared to current systems designed for only 450 knots. Remember that communication weakness I mentioned? The F-22 uses its own proprietary intraflight data link for secure communications between Raptors, but it couldn't talk to other aircraft types. The solution? Project Hydra used a U-2 Dragon Lady as a flying translator, enabling F-22s and F-35s to share data for the first time. This reduced the data-to-decision timeline from minutes to seconds. The Air Force has implemented AI-enabled predictive maintenance through the Predictive Analytics and Decision Assistant System. This isn't just scheduled maintenance. This is artificial intelligence analyzing real-time data to predict when components will fail before they actually fail. Every F-119 engine gets tested in specialized hush house facilities, soundproof buildings where engines can be run at full afterburner power for complete testing. These facilities allow comprehensive troubleshooting while keeping the noise from waking up the entire base. Nighttime aerial refueling is mandatory training for every F-22 pilot. Picture this. You're flying at 400 plus miles per hour in complete darkness, trying to connect to a boom extending from a KC-10 tanker. There's minimal lighting and you're dealing with incredibly precise formation flying while managing a fifth generation fighter. This isn't just training, it's what gives the F-22 its global reach capability. The F-22 Raptor isn't just a fighter jet, it's a strategic weapon that shapes how America projects power around the world. Its first look, first shot, first kill capability means it can detect and engage enemy aircraft at ranges where they can't even see it coming. But here's what makes the F-22 truly future-proof. It's constantly evolving. The Air Force is integrating revolutionary upgrades that will keep this Predator ahead of emerging threats for decades to come. The AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, JATM, is about to change everything. This next-generation air-to-air missile is designed specifically to counter advanced threats and provide significantly increased range and lethality compared to current AIM-120 AMRAMs. When integrated into the F-22's internal weapons bays, the JATM will extend the Raptor's already devastating reach even further. Engineers are also developing stealthy external fuel tanks, a seeming contradiction that's actually genius engineering. These conformal fuel tanks maintain the F-22's stealth signature while dramatically extending its operational range, giving it truly global reach without compromising its invisibility. Currently, the F-22 meets or exceeds all its maintenance requirements, achieving 10.5 direct maintenance man-hours per flight hour, better than the required 12.0 hours at system maturity. The variable cost per flying hour is $19,000 compared to the F-15's $17,000, a small price to pay for fifth-generation air dominance that's only getting better. The F-22 represents more than just advanced technology. It represents American ingenuity, determination, and our commitment to maintaining air superiority. From its revolutionary stealth coatings to its physics-defying maneuverability, from its godlike sensors to its precision weapons, the Raptor continues to ensure that America owns the skies. And with cutting-edge upgrades like the AM260J ATM and stealth fuel tanks coming online, the F-22 isn't just maintaining its edge, it's expanding it. Every potential adversary knows this simple truth. When F-22s are in the area you don't control the airspace, America does. What do you think? Should America build more F-22s or is the F-35 the future of air dominance? With these new upgrades, do you think the Raptor will remain unbeatable for another 20 years? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into America's most advanced military technology. Until next time, keep looking up, because somewhere up there, a Raptor is watching over you.